Hi friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss a example on how to construct a half entry and uh, how to create a variable length code and after that find how to find the average of half man's code size in bits per symbol. Okay, okay. Let us go to the question. So, what is the question given? Given the symbols A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H are the symbols given, and the probabilities are. 1 by 30, 1 by 30, 1 by 30, 2 by 30, 3 by 30, 5 by 30, 5 by 30, and 12 by 30 respectively. So, these are the symbols and these are the probability. Okay. Uh, so, in the question, probabilities and symbols are given. So, what is the first part of this question? There are three parts. What is the first part? Construct the half entry based on probabilities of symbols. See, first part we have to do, we have to construct a half entry. Okay. So, I have already provided the steps in my previous video. So if anyone haven't watched the previous video yet, you can go back to the previous video and you can watch that to know the steps of construct construction of half entry. So what is the second part here? Create variable length code, table to encode all symbols using Huffman's algorithm. So as as soon as you complete the construction of half entry, right? You can do the, do the remaining two easily. Okay. So first let us do the first one. So uh, if you see in the steps, what is the first step? Start with leaf node. Each symbol becomes a leaf node in the tree. Associate each symbol with its necessary probability occurrence. So these are the symbols and these are the probabilities, right? So let us write those two together. Okay. So like A means here 1 by 30, B means 1 by 30 is there, right? So we have to write that one. Okay. So here, let me write the symbol. These are the symbol and after that probability. Probability. Okay, so A, B, C, D, E, F, and G, H. So what is the probability of A according to the question 1 by 30? Probability of B, 1 by 30. Probability of C, 1 by 30. Probability of D, 2 by 30. Probability of E, 5 by 30. Uh, 3 by 30, right? Sorry. 3 by 30, F 5 by 30 and 5 by 30 and H 12 by 30. So we have written the first step. Okay. Let me write the solution. So first we have arranged the symbols and the probability parallelly. Okay. Done. So what we have to do? We have to sort the nodes. Place all nodes in the list sorted in ascending order. Okay. So what we have to do? See A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H are there, right? And the probabilities are given right the values we, we know right so first step is completed and second step is like we have to write this in the ascending order so the probabilities are given right so if you see here 1 by 30 1 by 30 1 by 30 are smaller and after the 2 by 30 3 by 30 in the question itself it is given the ascending order so we uh, it is we don't have to change anything okay so keep it like this only so let us go to the third step see here it is given in the ascending order that's why we haven't changed anything or we haven't modified anything okay if if the probabilities are given like randomly so like 5 by 30 is given in a or 12 by 30 is given in d like that then we have to sort accordingly okay you know right uh, ascending order smallest one in we have to put in the first place like that we have to write again symbol and probability okay next one what we have to do what is the third step two steps completed see without doing anything two steps completed so let us go to the third step okay what we have to do combine lowest two nodes so we have to see the nodes or we have to see the list of nodes and what we have to see remove two nodes with lowest frequencies like there will be two lowest nodes at first right so first we have to remove those two removing matlab we have to take it aside and we have to add add those two like create new internal node with a frequency or probability equal to some of those two nodes okay what we have to do here see we have to take the lowest two nodes and we have to add these two okay and we and that makes the new internal node and we call that node as parent node of those two nodes okay and at last what you have to do insert new node back new node is given right and we have to put it in the list again and we have to repeat those steps so let us go let us do the remaining part okay okay list is there what we have to do we have to check the lowest two nodes first okay here a and b are the lowest okay okay i have taken a and b so what i have done combine i am combining so just for understanding purpose i am writing this combining a and b like that okay no need to write all these things 
first I have done combine A and combine A and B. Okay, so this is A and this is B. I am combining that. It is nothing like 1 by 30, A is 1 by 30, right? And it is B is 1 by 30. If you add those two, what it will become? 2 by 30, right? So, see, 2 by 30 is one node. It is the parent node of A. A means 1 by 30 and B means 1 by 30. So, it, it became 2 by 30. Okay. So, here it became a new, see, here it is become a new parent node of 2 by 30. Okay. Then, okay. Very good. Then, what we have to do next? See, it became 2 by 30. So, here removing these two, A and B got removed. Okay. And what is the new one here? 2 by 30. So, let it some x like that. Okay. So, x value is 2 by 30. So, if we again sort, if we sort it again, see, it's 1 by 30, 2 by 30, 2 by 30. These are remaining. These two are removed. Okay. So, 1 by 30, 2 by 30, 2 by 30. So, we can take any one of these two. So, it will be better if you take a leaf node. That means, a individual node. After, it is a parent node, but it is a leaf node, right? So, if both a parent node are and leaf node are equal, it is better to take. Like, it is not mandatory, but it is better to take leaf node. So, I am combining C and D. So, what I am doing? I am combining C and D. Okay. What is C here? 1 by 30. D, 2 by 30. 1 by 30 plus 2 by 30 is 3 by 30. Okay. So, here it is C. C value of C is 1 by 30 and D is 2 by 30. Total 3 by 30. Okay. So, in these two places, after removing, see what I have told at the third step, remove two nodes with lowest frequencies. Create new internal node. Okay. So, I have C, D. It in C and D are removed and it plus play, in that place, a new parent node with 3 by 30. Okay, you got it right. So here it is 2 by 30, 3 by 30, and again remaining one. You got it. So let us continue till the no A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, R until they are completed. Okay. Okay. What we have to do next? One minute. Okay. Here, if you can see 2 by 30, and it is 3 by 30. Okay. And 3 by 30. So we can add these two, right? 2, 3, 3 by 30, 5 by 30, 5 by 30, 12 by 30. So, I am taking these two as these two are lowest one. Okay. So, it is one parent node and this is one parent node. So, I am adding these two. Okay. So, what it will become? 5 by 30, right? 5 by 30. 5 by 30. Third step, this one. I am not writing anything. Just to understand yourself. 5 by 30. When it is 5 by 30, after adding 2 by 30, 2 by 30 and here it is again 3 by 30. How 2 by 30 came? It came by A and B. After taking the nodes A and B. For 3 by 30, it is taking C and D. Okay. So, third step what we have done? Again, we have taken the lowest two probabilities. Okay. And we have removed these two. Like after removing these two, it became 5 by 30 right yes it became 5 by 30 and it because see these four nodes are completed at, at these four nodes 5 by 30 is there so what are the remaining ones here 5 by 30 3 by 30 5 by 30 5 by 30 and 12 by 30 again if we repeat the fourth step again okay fourth step what we uh, what we can write see 3 by 30 is the lowest one and again 5 by 30 5 by 30 5 by 30 5 by 30 so what i am doing in this place see E and F, C, F and G are equal leaf nodes, okay? So, I am taking these two and I am adding and it becomes 10 by 30, right? So, simply see, uh, in fourth step, it is the fifth step, even though F and G are fifth step, I am just like, they are equal, right? I am adding these two first. In fourth step, and in fourth step, I am adding this 5 by 30 and 3 by 30. See, 5 by 30 and 3 by 30 is 8 by 30, right? 8 by 30. So, here I am adding... 3 by 30. 3 by 30 is E. Right? See, 3, 8 by 30. How 8 by 30 came? After adding these two. E and this, this node, right? 5 by 30 parent node and E leaf node. In place of 3 by 30, I have written the node. Right? And again in right side, what I have to write? 5 by 30. How 5 by 30 we got? See, this one. After adding 2 by 30 and 3 by 30. Right? And how we got 2 by 30 and 3 by 30? With these leaf nodes, right? Yes. 
okay well now these two completed right 5 by 13 2 by 13 how we become 8 by 13 now these two also have combined right fifth step what I have done f and g are 10 by 30 10 by 30 right f and g done right see what I have done see first I have done a b c d and I have combined these two 5 by 30 all these you got 8 by 30 10 by 30 now what are the remaining nodes 8 by 30 parent node 10 by 30 leaf, parent node and 12 by 30 leaf node so three nodes are remaining so what are the smallest one in these three nodes 8 by 30 and 10 by 30 right yeah so I am adding these two again after adding 10 by 30 and 8 by 30 the result is 18 by 30 so it will be the sixth step so now what we have to do we have to add these two 8 by 30 and 12 by 30 it result will become uh, 18 by 30 right 18 by 30 how it become how that 18 by 30 came after adding 8 by 30 at one side and 10 by 30 in other side so how we got uh, 10 by 30 after adding these two leaf nodes f and g but how we got this 18 by 30 um, after adding e and 5 by 30 and how we got this 5 by 30 after adding 2 by 30 and 3 by 30 and how we got this 2 by 30 and 3 by 30 a b and c d okay up to this what we have done see these two and we have combined again okay and these two become 18 by 30 now only one parent node and one leaf node is remaining so 18 by 30 and 12 by 30 so at last what we will get after adding these two and it is seven step it is last step after adding see here 18 by 30 and it is 12 by 30 after adding these two what we will get 13 by 30 um, 18 plus 12 30 by 30 right so 30 by 30 is the resultant okay now it is the C main main tree okay at last step this is uh, how we got 10 by 30 C 10 by 30 and 12 by 30 right 10 by 30 here okay 10 by 30 see sorry 18 it's my mistake 18 by 30 right see 18 by 30 one side and 12 by 30 other side 18 by 30 so here I am writing here see I am taking smallest one always in the left side uh, you can take any time but every time I am taking smallest one left side right so that's why I am taking 12 by 30 it is 12 by 30 and it is 18 by 30 okay why I haven't written 12 by 30 because 12 by 30 is nothing but h right so I can directly write the h h okay and how we got uh, 18 by 30 if you can see 18 by 30 after adding 8 by 30 and 12 by 30 after adding 8 by 30 and 10 by 30 after adding these two and how we got 8 by 30 with previous steps if you see after adding e and 5 by 30 and how we got 10 by 30 here f and g okay and how we got 5 by 30 after adding 2 by 30 and 3 by 30 and how we got 2 by 30 here a b c d okay done so this is the required half entry so till now what you have done right this is the construction of half entry so what are the remaining questions uh, what are the remaining two questions that you have uh, to answer we have to create variable length code table to encode as symbols using of mass algorithm okay so for that what we have to do up to this a is done okay up to this a is done so what we are doing now b okay so for that what we have to do we have to got the code right yeah for getting code what we have to do see for the left side like left hand left hand side there right those values of the branches are zero and for the right side the the values of the branches are one okay zero to left and one to right so here it is left zero it is one again left right zero one left right zero one zero one zero one zero one and zero one done now what we have to do we have to write the table right so let me write the symbol first okay symbol okay symbol done and again path and that means 
how it is going path and Huffman code. We have to write the Huffman code, right? So how many bits it is used? We have to write that bits bus. Okay. Okay. Symbol. What are the symbols? A up to A to H. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Okay. And what is the path for A? C. D is the root, right? Up to root, we have to calculate to A. See, first where it is going? 18 by 30. 1. 1. And it is 8 by 30. 0. And again, 1. 0. 0. Okay. And next one, B. 1. And uh, after that again, 0. 1. 0. 1. For C. 1. See, how it is? Root not to parent how it is telling 1 and again for c it is again traveling for 1 uh, not 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 0 1 0 and again 1 and again 1 and again 0 similarly for d 1 0 1 1 1 a b c d is done next e 1 uh, 0 0 1 0 0 e done right and for f 1 1 0 1 1 0 and for G, 1, 1, 1. And for H, 1. So how many bits here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 bits. And for this, 5. 5, 5, 3, 3, 3, 1. Okay, up to this, you are correct, right? So what we have to do? First, we have to construct the Huffman tree based on probabilities. And it's done. And we have to create a variable length code table to encode as symbols okay find average Huffman code size okay we have to find the average now so this is the table Huffman code table of ball variable length table okay okay now what we have to do we have to find the average okay for average what the formula is for average to find the average what is the formula Average length is equal to sigma of sum of probabilities into the length of the code. Okay, like let us uh, compute that problem. Okay, what we have to do? What is the see here? A into five, B into five, C into five, like that. We have to add A into five plus B into five, like that. We have to add. Okay, so for that, what we have to do? A. What is the probability of A? If you can see here, probability of A is one by thirty. So let me uh, keep this so that. Uh, it will understand see a and let me also keep this also see a value 5 up to a b c d value is 5 e f g value 3 and g value 1 so a a is probability is 1 by 30 1 by 30 into 5 plus 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 uh, sorry, it's 2 by 30 D, right? 2 by 30. 4 D, 5 by 5, 5, 5, next 3. It is 3 by 30 into 3 plus 3 by 30 and next 5. 5 by 30 into 3 plus into 3 plus 5 by 30 into 3. And last one, 1. 12 by 30 into 1. Okay, so if we take all these. Uh, 30 is the basic denominator so adding 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 10 plus 9 plus 15 plus 15 plus 12 that is nothing but after adding these what we will get 76 by 30 it is nothing but 2.53 like I already calculated so I am writing <laughs> very fast okay 2.53 bits per symbol bits per symbol so this is the easy way to solve okay if you are preparing day before exam for uh, algorithm design right this is the one key concept that you will get in the exam okay so what is the question given construct the Huffman tree based on probabilities of symbols yeah we have constructed the Huffman tree you can see this this is the Huffman tree and after that what we have to do create variable length code table yes we have to do that that one also we have created the variable length code okay and after that DC find average Huffman code size in bits per symbol so this is the average Huffman code size bits per symbol so thank you guys for watching my video